So everybody's heard of low E coatings. It's this very commonly used term now in the window industry. But are you aware of the different variety of low E coatings that exist in our marketplace today? And if you're not, be careful because there's old technology low E coatings and there's newer technology low E coatings. And what we're using today is all the newer technology. So when a window company simply sells you windows with low E, make sure you ask them what type of low E. To demonstrate, I'd like to show you this thermal imaging video. What you're seeing here is a 10 minute time lapse of glass heating up under a heat lamp. And it's measuring the amount of infrared heat flowing through the glass. And so within the five panes of glass that you see here, the one piece of glass on the left is two panes of clear glass. So a window with no low E, typically what you have in an older home. The other four panes of glass all have different types of low E coatings and the middle, to right uh, of the glass is what we would consider to be uh, newer technology or current technology types of low E coatings that we would put in. Uh, the glass between the two, so the one uh, second to the left, is referred to as single coat low E, otherwise known as a Cardinal 180 coating. This product is still available on the market, but because double coats, like the double coats and triple coat and quadruple coat low E coatings are available, uh, the 180 coating has really been obsolete. And you can see here the heat flow through the glass is almost close to the same amount of heat flow through uncoated glass. So if you're considering windows with low E, uh, be very careful that you're not purchasing windows with the 180 coating or the single coat as you may have a situation where your home may overheat in the summer or may not be improved from the existing windows that you have.